Are you an IMG who wants to do ophthalmology in US? Maybe you've already done a residency in your home country and have been told that you have to repeat your residency in US to be able to do that. Today, I'm going to tell you the three paths to becoming an ophthalmologist in the US as an IMG. Hi, my name is Saloni Kapoor. I am a graduate of All India Institute of Medical Sciences in New Delhi, which makes me an international medical graduate, also known as IMG, and I am currently an ophthalmology resident at the University of Pittsburgh in US. The way I have structured this video is to talk about the pathway and then discuss its pros and cons, and then tell you if uh, this is the pathway that's appropriate for you. First, let's talk about the traditional pathway. This is the most commonly known pathway and this is the path that I took as well. So you do your medical school in your home country. You may or may not have done a residency in your home country. Usually, you'll take your USMLEs and move to US to do a couple of years of research and then apply for the match. Then you match into an ophthalmology residency program and go on to do your fellowship if that's your intention and then become an attending. So the benefits of this pathway are that it is it gives you the broadest options available. There are two fellowships that are considered the most competitive. One is surgical retina and one is uh, oculoplastic. Usually if you have done a US ophthalmology residency then these options are open for you. The con obviously here is that it's a longer training period. You do have to invest a couple of years doing research and if you've done a home country uh, residency already then you are going to be repeating that training for you. I think this pathway is most appropriate for people who have not done a home country residency and don't want to do a home country residency. This is also probably the safe pathway for people who want to do surgical retina and oculoplastics. The second pathway is the internationally trained ophthalmologist pathway, also known as the ITO pathway. Now this is super cool because you don't have to repeat your residency to uh, walk on this pathway. This was uh, approved in 2018, so it's relatively new. How this works is you do your home country medical school, home country residency, take your USMLEs. Usually you do a year, sometimes even two, of research to get your letters and get to know people. Then you apply directly for a fellowship match. You do two or three years of fellowship depending on the state you're in. These fellowships, you know, ophthalmology fellowships are not ACGME accredited. They can vary from like one to two, sometimes even three years. So a lot of people who uh, walk on this path actually end up doing two fellowships to satisfy that two or three year requirement. And that two or three year requirement actually depends on the laws of the state. Once you've completed those fellowships, you apply for an unrestricted state license. And once you've had an unrestricted state license for five years, you become board eligible. That means you are approved to take the board certification, which uh, gives you a broader range of options as to where you would want to work in and like the setting that you would want to work at. Let's talk about the pros and cons of this pathway. So the pro is immediately obvious, right? You do not have to repeat your residency. That's great. The con is really you are limited in terms of your fellowship options. It's not a big limitation. The only things that uh, may be out of reach would be surgical retina and oculoplastic because everything else, cornea, glaucoma, pediatric ophthalmology, ocular oncology, and any of the other niche fellowships, they're all open to you using this pathway. I would recommend this pathway to anyone who has done a home country residency and feels confident in their training feels like they have acquired the skills of a comprehensive ophthalmologist such that they would be actually ready to be a fellow and an attending. I will link the document to the ITO uh, in the description below. The third and sort of the rarest pathway is known as Physician of uh, International Renown. How this works is you do your medical school, your residency, your fellowship, 
all in your home country and then you have to build an exceptional career in your home country so it can be either a clinical skill that you acquire and build your practice around that you're world renowned for or a research portfolio in a specific disease and then an institution in the US has to have a specific need for your clinical or your research skills so they will sponsor you to come to us the benefit of this pathway is you don't have to take the usmle or you don't have to repeat the residency but the con is immediately obvious again it is a super probabilistic thing you have to have a very specific skill set that an institution in the us wants and you have to have that connection to that institution for them to want to bring you over usually they bring you over on an institutional license so you're not free to practice in the rest of the us especially when you initially move here so this is super rare pathway and usually not something that you can plan for but i wanted to put it out there you know for completion sake that's it those are the three pathways to become an ophthalmologist in us now i want to hear from you which pathway are you interested in walking down and what questions would you like me to tackle in the next video thanks for watching